Hey kindergarten, we are going to talk a lot about capacity today. We are going to do module 3, lesson 29, and our objective is I can observe cups of colored water of equal volume poured into a variety of different container shapes. Okay, so we're going to keep the volumes equal, so the same, but pour them into different container shapes and see if that affects anything. Okay, first we're going to start with a cup tower flip. We are going to take one cube off and put it beside the tower, just like this. Do we still have five cubes though? All together? Let's count to check. One, two, three, four, five. We do. So what are our two groups? We have a group of what? Four in a group of one, and together they make five. So we can say four and one make five. Great job. Now I took another cube off the top and I have two different groups. Do I still have five? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. I do. So I can say, three and two also make five. And I took another one and put it onto this tower. Do I still have five? Let's do this one on our hands. We have one, two for one group, and how many for this group? One, two, three for this group. So I still have five, yeah. But I can say two and three make five. I took one more off, put it over here. What are my two groups? I have one, and then I have a group of one, two, three, four. Do I still have five? Yes, I do. So one and four make five. Okay, so we're going to talk about full, not full, and empty. So I want you to look at my bottle. My bottle is full because the liquid comes right up to the top. I can't fit any more in there. My water bottle right now is full. I can't fit any more water in there if I wanted to until I drank some. I couldn't fit in it. So when you cannot fit anything more in a container. It is full. You say, this bottle is full. Good job. And why is it full? Can we fit anything more in it? No, we can't. This bottle is not full. Look it. Can I fit more liquid in here? Yeah, I can. So my bottle is not full. Let me grab my water bottle again. Come out. Look at the water only comes up to here now. My water bottle is not full anymore. I can fit more in there. Look at this bottle. What happened? You're right, it's empty. Oh my goodness, there's no liquid in it, so it's empty. So if it's full, we can't fit any more into it. If it's not full, we can fit more liquid into it. And if it's empty, there's nothing in it at all. Not full means there's a little bit, empty means there's nothing at all. Okay, so I'm going to show you some objects, and you're going to tell me if they're full, which means we can't fit any more in there. Not full, which means there's stuff in there, but we could fit more. And empty, which means there's nothing in there at all. Okay, so here's our first picture. Is this full, not full, or empty? It is full. Look it. It is overflowing. It's so full. 
What about this glass? Is it full, not full, or empty? It's not full. Look it, I still have room to add more if I wanted to, right? Yeah. But it's not empty because there's still stuff in it. What about this water bottle? Full, not full, or empty? Not full. There's still room, but it's not empty. What about this container? Full, not full, or empty? It is empty. There's nothing in that container. This is called a beaker. What about this beaker? Is it full, not full, or empty? Full, not full, or empty? It is not full. We still have room where we could add more, but it's not, there's still stuff in it, right? So it's not empty. Now compare this beaker to this beaker. Is this beaker full, not full, or empty? It is empty. Very, very good. There's nothing in it, and it's not overflowing, so it is empty. And our last one looks like the line is right here. Is it full, not full, or empty? It is not full, right? It's not empty but it's not full, so it is not full. Good job. So to end our lesson today, we're gonna play a little game and we're gonna have to think back to that lesson that we learned about capacity and holding water. And we did it with, I did it with the sprinkles, remember? We filled the different containers. That's what we're gonna do here today. But we're going to have to figure out which containers hold the most liquid, which containers hold the smallest amount of liquid, because we don't want to overflow our containers. We just want to fill them. So they're going to start empty. They're going to begin to get full. So they're not empty or not full. And then they'll get full. But we don't want to overflow them. Do you think you can help me with that? Awesome. So looking at these containers, we also have another mission. We want to have the least number of pores. So to fill this big container, are we gonna fill it with this small cup or would it fill faster with this big cup? The big one, right. So we're going to fill it with the big cup. Now, if it gets too full, you need to tell me because look at that big pot fills it up quite a bit. So you got to keep watching, okay? Two, three, four, five. Oh no. Do you think we can fit another one? Or do you think it will overflow? I think it may overflow too. Let's try a smaller one. But am I going to go to the smallest one yet? No, I don't think I need to. Let's see what this one does. Okay, six, seven, eight, nine, can I fit any more? I don't know. You think I should try a big one or a small one? Probably a small one, right? We could have filled it in nine, it says. So we must have been able to use those big ones. But we still did it without overflowing. So we are winning. Now look at this shape of this container. Do you think the shape of the container is going to affect how much water can go in it? 
yeah, we learned that with the sprinkles. The shape of the container definitely does contribute to how much it can hold. So am I going to start with my smallest one or can I start with my biggest one? I can start with my biggest one. One, two, three. Tell me when to stop with the biggest one. I think I can keep going. I still have room, right? Because we were empty. Now we're not full. Gosh. It's filling up fast. Do you see how fast it's filling up? The, the narrower the top gets, how much that fills it up. Do you think I can fit a whole nother big pot in there? <sighs> Probably not. You're right. What are we thinking? This one or this one? Okay, we can try this one. Now, do I have enough room for another one of these? No, I'm gonna have to go to my small one. We did it perfectly, it says. We didn't overflow it. We just filled it to the top. We took a container, it went from empty all the way to full. Okay, we're gonna do one more. Oh, this is again another shape container. So we learned as we got closer to the top, it felt like more water was filling up, right? Because the capacities of these containers are different. So I'm gonna start with my biggest one first, and then I want you to tell me when to stop, okay? Do I need to stop yet? You sure? Okay. Do I have enough room for one more big one? Probably not. It's not empty anymore. And it's not full. But if I put a whole nother one of these in, I'm worried it's going to overflow. Because of how narrow or thin that is. Remember the other one? The water level rose up really quick when he put that in. So let's go to our next smallest pot. Keep going. Oh my goodness. I guess we could have, guys. It says you filled the container in 10 pours. The smallest number of pours is 7. So I guess I could have done one more of those big pots. But did we still fill the, um, did we still meet our objective and fill the container? Okay, I am so proud of you guys. You guys did a really nice job today referring to previous lessons and knowledge about capacity. You guys are really starting to understand that different containers have different capacities. That's huge. We also learned the terms full, not full, which means there's more room for liquid, and empty, right? Empty means there's nothing in there. Great job today, guys. For your exit ticket, you're going to have some problems. And what they're going to ask you is, is this container full? Is this container empty? Is this container full, not full, or empty? It could ask you all those vocabulary terms. So remember, full, there's no more room for anything. Not full, there's some more room for stuff. And empty, there's nothing in it at all. I hope you have a wonderful day today. See you soon.